I get asked a lot of questions about what I use in my hair, how I set it, blah, 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 blah. So, I'm gonna show y'all exactly what I do right in this video. Okay, okay, enough with the goofy stuff. First, what you're gonna need always is some water. Then you're gonna need some Curly Hanson smoothie. And then I like the gel souffle. This is all by Shea Moisture. I always need these little hair clippy clappy claps because I uh, gotta keep my hair clippy clapped up. All right, so we're gonna start off sectioning this off. Usually I start in the back, but for video's sake, I'm gonna start in the front. So I go in the middle here, make that first part, clip off one side, then the other side. You know, I just go down by my ears and that'll be two parts right there. Y'all gonna see some flakes. This is partially from my gel and partially from my flaky scalp. So uh, remember how I was saying it's a judge-free zone? Yeah, right here in this little area, judge-free. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna section off the little back here. And then I am going to get this nice and damp. Not too wet, but not too dry. Damp, like I just said, I guess. Okay, so after I got that nice and damp, I'm gonna add the curly hand feet smoothie a little bit to this section and just rub it all in. After I get that nice and smooth too, then we're gonna go in with the curl souffle and add a little bit of that in, especially to the ends, make it all nice and juicy feel good what not and what have you rub this in and uh right here i'm just gonna section this part off into two pieces and with this piece we're just gonna really literally do a two strand twist i was showing y'all my little the texture of my hair and um a little bit of a length check and scraping flakes out just so uh, y'all see y'all know how to do a two strand twist just literally one strand over the other all the way to get down to the bottom and once I get to the bottom I like to just curl little ends around my fingers Mind you, this is not freshly washed hair or anything like that. I don't usually wash my hair but once a week maybe or, you know, once every two weeks. Depending on um, the product buildup I have in my hair. But I need to put a little bit of grease on. Just a little bit on my scalp. Help with my dry scalp. I kind of got dry skin, so... So anyways, we're just gonna repeat this same process until the whole head is done. Spray with water, use some of the um, enhancing smoothie, and then I go in with the curling souffle.
and this is what I'm going to sleep on. So by the time I get up in the morning, it should be good and dry. And yeah, so it's the next day. I already did my makeup. So I'm taking off my little hair ties or whatever. And then I am going to untwist my twist and gently separate them. To untwist, I literally just start at the, the base and pull it apart. And it usually just comes apart easily. If it gets tangled, I mean, don't do it like this because you'll break your hair off. But yeah, that's what I do. Now for the separating part, what I try to do is just look and see where it naturally separates once you pull it. And I just try to go with that to prevent as much frizz as I can because my hair gets frizzy. Girl, stop playing. Okay, so this is it all out of the twist. I'm just making sure I got everything. Cause sometimes I miss a couple. And I'm just gonna grab my pick and lift the roots to get rid of these parts. I don't really know how I'm styling it yet, but I you know I can get a shape of what I what I wanna do after I pick it and see what how my hair is feeling this day. So pretty much here is where I'm like, okay, I'm going to put half this up and half down. But the part that's going to go up is going to go in like a little bun. And I'm going to have a little back part out. It's going to be cute. And yeah. Okay, so this part is easy because I basically already have a part from how I have my hair twisted. So I'm just going along that line. And I'm going to tie up the back to keep it out the way too. Here, I am going to add some edge control. You know how them edges need to be laid, girl. Yeah, so I'm going to put some of this on. And it makes it easier for my hair to go on the ponytail, too. And then, you know, obviously, I'm just brushing it up. Get it in my little ponytail. All right, so when I'm wrapping my rubber band around, I usually wrap it like two or three times. But on the last time I don't pull it all the way through, I just pull it most through and then fluff it up and that's how you get a bigger bun looking. See like that, bam. And you just fluff all this mess out, girl. You got yourself a little hairstyle. Well, almost, we not done yet. Cause you know what's next, baby hair. I don't really have baby hair, but I like to fake the funk, so. I'm about to fake it right here, like, uh, bam. And this, y'all, is the final look. I mean, it's really simple. At night, if I decide to twist my hair, I'll be cute. If I don't, I'll be fucked. But seriously, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this, my little mini hair tutorial or whatever you want to call it. Uh, next time I get questions, I'm going to send y'all straight to this video and then you'll be like, oh yeah, that was me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, love y'all. Peace.